Welcome to week number 11 of my Rockford Indoor Sunday League. Now, this was a big game for us because we are currently sitting in fourth place and the team that we are playing is the fifth place team in the league with only about five games left in the season. Now, at the start of this game, I didn't get a whole lot of action, a lot of just barking out orders to begin with. At this point, we're ready to one nothing. Hey, that's what you're in front of me. You're in front of me. Come on. After already having a goal and dominating possession here to start off the first half, we were quickly able to grab our second. So after this team went down two goals, finally started applying some pressure. Still so much time left here in the first half. And after only a few more minutes went by, we already had our third goal of the game. One thing I've been trying to get back in the rhythm of doing is my long ball distribution, especially after I hurt both my ankles. It just hasn't felt right. And this is one of my only opportunities I had in the first half. And as we just started to venture deeper and deeper into the first half, the goals were piling up before we finally hit halftime. All right, we're seeing a lot of goals. Here's a quick foot save for everybody. All right, back to the goals. And just like that, the first half comes to a close, keeping a clean sheet all the way forward. Second half is where things got a little dicey, but you guys should see it for yourself. Now with the second half underway, you could definitely tell they're coming out a little bit more aggressive. We're kind of getting cocky, playing up too high, not as structured having the big lead that we did, which led to the first goal. And it was just an absolute mistake by me. Good strike by him right between my legs. Now I think one of the keys to playing goalkeeper, not even just indoor, but outdoor, but mostly indoor is having a good mental fortitude because the game is set up for goalies to take on shot after shot after shot not only that how close the shots are that are actually being taken on you proud of myself for the way I recovered after a mistake and I even made one of those last week and it definitely got to me one of the benefits I feel like I have that separates me from a lot of goalies is the way I can use the ball at my feet Now, it felt like we were cruising through this game, but after watching the footage, they really did pick it up in the second half. But ultimately, our attack was just way too strong in this game as we pick up our eighth goal of the game. I feel like everybody who plays the sport always has that one person who you were always on the same page with. And for me, that is my boy, Amon. Now, remember how I said in the first half, things got a little dicey. Well, after this challenge is where things really started to pop off and the game became a lot more physical. And just in case people don't know, that was actually given a blue card for that challenge, which means I believe he has to go out of the game for about three to five minutes, somewhere around there, so we have to play with a man down. I definitely felt the pressure of not having one of our guys out there on the field, but I was still able to remain strong and only had one goal scored on me at this point. Now, this next goal hurt most to give some context. The guy who scored this actually tried to headbutt me in outdoor and start a fight with me and my team. I'd been saving every shot he's taken, reading him like a book, but he got this one to end up going in, and this is where the trash talk started. So obviously after this point, I was annoyed because they scored a goal. They're down 12-2 and they are talking and I'm petty. So, you know, I had to try to make some fun out of it. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. 
That was all in good fun. Me and the guy daps it up, but they were trying to get me a card for saying that. And after that, the game came to a close. We now sit at 9-2 and two on the season, still at fourth place with playoffs just around the corner. Make sure to like and subscribe.